It's just dreams and visions during the recovery. I will wash you soon and you will get breakfast. Does that sound good? You'll need some energy for tonight. This seems like it's coming from the highest tops. No worries, mate. Have a drink. I mean, come on, Gary. Additionally, there's the issue of consent. Frank Zappa isn't here to give his opinion on this, and we have to respect the autonomy of individuals, even in the case of a potential clone. Well, it's an interesting ethical dilemma. On one hand, we could potentially bring back a musical genius and cultural icon, but on the other, it raises a lot of ethical questions about the nature of cloning and the rights of the clone. Whatever. All I know is I'm getting paid. Very well, and I don't see anything wrong with that. It's essential to consider the ethical, legal, and moral implications before proceeding with such a venture. Sure, it's not the most common thing to do without any trial periods performed, and, right, we can't overlook the potential physical and psychological risks that cloning might pose to the clone. It's a complex issue, and we should carefully weigh the pros and cons. It's important to consider the well-being of the clone itself. I prefer pros and coins, you know what I'm saying, doctors. Can I have another drink, please? Is there a problem, gentlemen? Evening, sir. All good, you just two drunk doctors talking nonsense. Good evening, sir. We were just having some chit-chat after work. No harm done. Nothing to worry about, sir. Does Ronnie have to call Father Riley? Are you guys done? Listen, boys. As a faithful Central Scrutinizer supporter, I believe that our faith should guide us in every aspect of our lives, including our work. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Yes, sir. You. God bless you, sir, and God bless the Central Scrutinizer. Let us take a moment to reflect on how our central scrutinizer values can inform our approach to work. As central scrutinizerists, we are also called to be diligent and hardworking. Yes, sir. Our faith encourages us to give our best in all that we do. When we work diligently, we are not only fulfilling our responsibilities, but we are also glorifying God through our efforts. Whether it is in our jobs, our studies, or our service to the community, our work should reflect our commitment to excellence. Catch you later, guys. Doctors? Gentlemen, sweet dreams. God bless, sir. Do you?